pile one, this is your reading. This is what's coming to you next in love. So let's see what your cards say. Messages of love, oracle cards first. Okay, so there's someone in the past who rejected you, okay? Watch out because there's someone in the past who rejected you coming back. Um, but, you know, maybe they, I get for, I'm getting for a lot of you guys, this wasn't a right away rejection. There was some history there. But anyways, that ended uh, for a good reason. You needed to distance yourself from that person at that time, you know? Um, yeah, so what's coming to you next is a very stable relationship. So second chance. So um, this person that hurt you actually deserves a second chance. Wow. Spiritual lesson. So this person uh, came into your life to teach you a lesson. I feel like you've learned to be more open with this person. Okay. Um, wow. Yeah, vulnerability. You've learned to be more open with this person for sure. And you can be the card is saying you can be completely open with this person and now it's time to decide about this relationship um yeah there could be a decision having to be made for you know a lot of you guys if you're seeing this this person has children that may have been a reason they're distant um and for some of you guys this person could be acting like a child so you really have to decide about the connection i feel like you also guys both have to not act like children and be very like also with decision being very clear about what you do and do not want because in the past it wasn't it didn't go your way and I feel like that's because you weren't being vulnerable okay let's see what the tarot cards say the tarot cards king of swords and king of cups wow okay so two kings here um there's a strong foundation in this connection you know there's just strong foundation somehow somehow some way i'm not gonna reverse these because i do not think i pulled reversals when i pulled cards okay so let's see king of swords king of cups so i'm getting here oh i don't want to shuffle these i'm getting here that this person is thinking very harshly. They're thinking very deeply with the King of Cups, very harshly, very deeply. They are kind of battling their own demons when it comes to the connection, and it's hard for them to be mature. And this is what's coming to you next in love, because this is someone who you have a foundation with already, with the two kings and who you have this history with but it was just super immature okay and that's what's coming to you next because it's with that person because you guys have that stability together and with the ten of wands yeah it's going to be the end of the cycle of you feeling like you're carrying the entire load or feeling like this is a burden with the death card and the ten of wands a new cycle is going to begin and this is really going to spark passion and the connection again and with the star card, the connection is going to be very healthy. A lot of you guys could be Aquarius. Oh, cut that. Hello, cut that. Hello. A lot of you guys could be Aquarius. A lot oh. of you guys could be Aquarius. Um, and Scorpio as well with the death card. And then Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well just because of the cups. But yeah, a lot of Gemini, Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius. But... Aquarius and Libra too. Yeah, okay. So not a lot of earth energy right now we're getting. Which is interesting because earth is all about like foundation. Um but it's like this deserves a second chance, but it's only really gonna be more foundation based when you guys really are more clear about where you're going in the connection because there's feelings here but there's not a lot of pinnacles so you guys are not clear about where you're going in the relationship um and that's really what's next in love for you i'm getting just because i'm thinking about that what's next for you is actually building foundation 
with this person because there is a foundation here in a weird way like I said but not stability wise like pinnacles are long lasting things but you guys will work that out easily because there are so many feelings here okay blinded to pain all right so what's next in love is I'm really good with this card with the naked before the stars as well this is a connection that made you really second guess love and not just be completely open right away and you know anger and chains this is definitely just a past thing with this past person okay because what's next in love is this person that you have this chain with this past with that isn't good it's not clear it's not over and you guys are needing to break down the connection and this is something that still lingers on you okay because all that glitters isn't only pretty but it's gonna be pretty because I see yeah you guys are gonna be mending those pains getting rid of those pains okay um, because this this connection has a deeper meaning um, you guys learned your spiritual lesson together so obviously it has a deeper meaning what's next in love for you is getting a lot of gifts and love okay exchanging gifts answers you're gonna get answers next. so surrender just surrender over to the divine Look at the bigger picture, okay? Um, step out of your comfort zone. You guys do want this per person. You want this connection. So, you know, luck is on your side. Bring love into the situation. Wow. Okay. A new romantic cycle begins. And literally the balance being like, that's all that matters. Okay. The relationship will balance out. Yeah. Because you guys are going to be communicating better with each other. Wow. Okay. So... Also, what's coming next in love is the ability to choose a new direction if you wish. Both the new romantic cycle begins. But it would be kind of sad because the situation will improve. Um, you were, you're supposed to be together, honestly. Let's get more cards. And you're supposed to be together, honestly. Let's get more cards. Listen to your intuition, okay? Yeah, you're going to recover the connection. Wow, yeah, literally. Forgiveness. Forgive this person. You're just feeling like it's unlikely that... This person's going to change, and it's unlikely that you will really find fulfillment if you don't really take action on this. Wow. Um, I mean, well, that's really negative to say. But it's unlikely that you will find fulfillment. Like, this is always going to be lingering. You will find fulfillment. You can find fulfillment. That's what it's saying. But just make sure that you actually get the closure, okay? Within the next few weeks, you will be communicating with this person, and I'm getting that... This person will also be taking action within the next few weeks. So just sit back, let it go, and surrender to the divine. But the thing here is you just have to be open to what comes to you because that is what's meant to be. Hello, Pile 2. This is your reading. This is what's coming to you next in love. Okay, so you chose this really nice crystal. It's very grounding, you know, very grounded in there in the cement love it okay let's first look at your tarot wow so what's coming to you next in love is a lot okay because of the eight of wands this is all about back and forth replies clear communication a lot of options especially with the wheel you guys will have a lot of options you already do okay um, two of Wands. Some of you guys are traveling. Some of you guys are going to be next in love. You're going to be meeting someone while traveling. Some of you guys are going to travel to meet someone. Wow, it's literally the Three of Cups celebration. You're just going to be celebrating in love. Okay, with the Five of Swords. So, it could feel a little burdensome, I'm getting, for some of you guys. Um, that you have a lot of options. And also, love is something I'm getting that a lot of you guys are just, you don't want. Because you feel like that's just not... That's just not going to work out. Um, and I feel like that's a recent change. Because I feel like you guys have been having a lot of options, but it just has not. Um, nothing's been really working out for you. No one's been wanting something real. But with the Nine of Pentacles, that's about to change with the death and rebirth. And um, you're going to kind of have that passion for love again that you just recently kind of lost with the Hanged Man okay 
um let's see here these cards are a little weird but you got a lot of them come out um let's see so falseness death so someone okay so there's some people who are false to you in love who have this mask but you guys are good at spotting them out with the death card and death and rebirth wow two death cards that means it's not scary that means that like um there's a messenger while you've been given a message from the universe you know literally to change and i feel like this actually i'm feeling like this hurt you like you guys were kind of more hopeless romantics and then recently you got hurt a lot and this hurt you but you needed to learn that but also you guys kind of it's weird you kind of know you shouldn't just completely give up but then you're kind of thinking wow that would be smart for me to do but no because what's coming next in love for you guys is this huge surprise and this person you guys you're gonna have very good conversations and it's just gonna feel so easy and natural because in the past love has felt very hard for you but don't worry okay look at the birds um you know they're flying you will be free in this connection it's just gonna feel so freeing you don't have to do anything in the connection it's not going to be difficult with this person someone that you're meeting with the priest i feel like this is god sent like this is very good for you seriously um and this is someone who's like wifey material um husband material you know so i feel like you guys this is the person you've been waiting for coming to you next in love wow okay we have channel messages let's see because i'm getting this is a new this is like a new person someone who's gonna just completely change everything okay heart chakra day yeah your team is saying you need to work on that heart chakra this is a spirit guide message from your team okay um so this person you're gonna know that they're your soulmate and they could likely say this to you you guys are just gonna feel a very deep connection okay i don't know why i'm running um okay let's get out more here yeah, your team wants you to open your heart and know that you are worthy. Once again, spirit guide message, you're worthy of this true love. Wow, what's coming is true love. Actual true love. Um, this person's going to say, you matter to me. That's supposed to say me. Okay, your spirit guides want you to create more. So, create. use your creativity right now. Just focus on creating because this is someone who you may know, I'm getting um they may be scared to open up and so they may have ran um for a lot of you guys this was a runner coming back and it's not someone you expect and for some of you guys it's a brand new person okay so yeah this person i've seen so many signs since meeting you i feel like that's what you're gonna say honestly i feel like all of these messages are what you're gonna say you know you're gonna feel like this person's your soulmate um but don't, you know, run away because you're scared to open up, okay? You're going to see a lot of signs before meeting this person. And it's just going to feel very meant to be. Well, because this is such a great message. This is true love. Yeah, wow. With this person, what's coming to you is a relationship that's very lighthearted. You guys are going to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other, okay? And it is really safe to make this move with this person. It's really safe to trust this person. Wow. Yeah. So great. Okay. Um, just forgive the past and just be open to anything and everything. Okay. And just wait for this. With that waiting card, just wait for this. And accept this love that's coming in. Okay. And let's see here. Okay, so you just need to wait for this. Yeah, wow, not the right time. Um, don't stop believing in love, but just compromise in the sense that you just need to work on yourself. So this could take a little bit longer than you want, but just work on improving yourself. That's what you're focused on anyway. So know this is coming and wow, expect powerful change. And when it's there, just know it was perfect for you. Right now, just keep working through your fears. Um, and keep that flexibility in your life and maybe for a lot of you guys this person may not be your usual type they may not be someone you expect but be flexible and be open to it because 
this energy is so good this is true love and it's gonna feel really it's good. gonna feel extremely balanced which is what you guys need okay pile two that was your reading thank you for watching please like the video and comment below Three, you chose this labradorite crystal all right so you guys are spiritually advanced you know your stuff you're spiritual you're exploring your spirituality you're also very open and you're you're growing a lot in your life right now just from choosing this crystal honestly okay so what's coming to you next in love is old woman okay so what's coming to you next in love i'm getting for a lot of you guys wow um is someone who was sent by maybe a past grandma for some of you for a few of you guys um and this is someone who you're gonna also grow old with what's coming to you next in love and this could be someone who you have an old connection with and this is um and these cards are kind of weird so i really am taking it how it resonates and honestly that's kind of fun to do so i would say that what's coming to you next in love is someone who's going to take care of you okay so yeah this is someone who's going to make you feel very beautiful you can resonate with peacocks haha <laughs> my channel right um yeah this is someone once again who's just gonna take care of you who's gonna really seek you out and for some of you guys this person could be a doctor of course um this could be someone that some of you guys met at a time where you were sick this is someone who will be there for you this is someone who you're gonna grow old with this is someone who um you could have shared a room with them like I don't know, that's a specific message, but for some of you guys, you could have, like, just spent a lot of time in their room or spent a lot of time in each other's rooms, and that was maybe, like, it was more of a situationship for some of you guys, um, but I also get with the room card that you guys are just going to be in a secluded area, you guys are going to really talk a lot and talk a lot of things out and communicate a lot, okay? And this is someone who you're going to feel cheerful with. Wait. Let me move that. Okay. All right. Let's look at your tarot cards. You got two tarot decks. And I love the tarot cards. So three of swords already. So, yeah, like I said, someone from the past. But I wasn't really getting that they broke your heart. But this is someone who hurt you in the past. Um, this is someone who I feel like you even maybe broke your own heart with. This is someone who caused you a lot of chaotic thoughts, which means that you guys did not talk things out, okay? This is someone who could be an earth sign, you could be an earth sign, um, you could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, you could be, uh... Or they could be a Scorpio or, yeah, Pisces or Cancer. This is someone who you've moved on from because you just consider them. Some of you guys, you actually think this person's like a narcissist and I don't know if they are. Let me see. Um, and for some of you guys, you really just do not have any good things to say about this person, about this connection about the connection really because the thing is you really liked this person and what's weird about this that you may not want to hear is that this relationship is elevating so i'm getting here like you guys have grown a lot recently okay and i think you should recognize that other people can't actually change this person's just a huge shell so you don't even know this person as much as you think you do like the negative parts that you think you see you're interpreting that as negative because this person is a huge shell and you guys have slowly moved past in the connection you have slowly moved on like you've slowly kind of gotten close but then you got farther apart and there was a lot of chaos in the connection with the five of wands because of that and so the thing is with this person a deeper spiritual lesson is being taught here you both have to accept like step out of your comfort zones because you 
maybe have to tell this person, hey, cut the BS. And maybe this person has to cut the BS. And, you know, this can be vice versa. Because I feel like this person is actually going to be a wish fulfillment. It's weird with the double. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. What do you need to release? The end of a tough cycle approaches. It's time to take action. A time for healing. Your hard work is paying off. Have faith in your dreams. You and your loved ones are safe. A time to give rather than take. So I'm getting that you need to focus on yourself and you need to let this go because the energy here isn't good with the double card. Um, but let's see what else. And you have to release the past. You could dream about this person. You guys worked hard in the connection. You did and, and you know, you just did in some way. So, yeah. Okay, but it is time to heal. You and your loved ones are safe. And this relationship, okay, retreat, warning, don't miss the red flag, self-care, past life love. Okay, past life love, boundary, self-care, warning, retreat. Alrighty. So what I'm really getting, you know that this is a deeper lesson. You know that this is like a twin flame type of craziness. But at this point, you hate it. You hate twin flames. You hate it, okay? But this is a past life love. Um, oh, you know, this is a past life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. You met for a reason, to learn a lesson. Um, and this person has a lot of red flags, so you have to set boundaries and spend time apart from this person. Take it extremely slow with this person. And that's what's next in love from you, is healing from this connection, healing from how badly you think of it. Because as you heal from that, you will forgive. And, you know, at the end of the rainbow, it may just be this person. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, predict it too much. But at the end of the rainbow, after you heal, what's next in love is actually for you literally self-love. Because after you harness self-love, which you guys already are, yeah, that hurt is just going to heal more than you ever knew it could. Um, it's time to give to yourself. This person is also growing. Don't miss the red flag because they need some growth um, so that they can get out of this energy that they did make you feel. They made you feel, you know, hurt, alone, unheard, confused. So don't worry. Right now, it really is self-love. And whatever that time frame is for you. But this connection also did teach you a lot of lessons. So just find gratitude in that. Even though you guys have been hurt a lot, I feel like your spirit guides want to say, sorry, I'm sorry for hurting you. I'm sorry for hurting you. But you, you just had to really learn. Pile three, thank you for watching. Please like the video and comment down below for more.